We'll guide you through how to fix the Wi-Fi icon option missing in Windows 11. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. This problem can be really annoying as you're then unable to go and connect to the Wi-Fi. So if you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. First of all, for the icon to go and appear here, you do need to have a Wi-Fi adapter. If you previously have had it here and it's suddenly gone, we'll show you how to fix it. But if you've never had it, you do need an adapter. So we'll link some down below you can go and get to Amazon. But to get started with the fixes, press the search at the bottom and you can go and type in device manager like so. In here, come down and find the option for network adapters and press the arrow to the left to expand it. Go and find your adapter. Make sure it's enabled. When you right click on it, it should go and say disable device. If it says enable, go and click on it and it will go and be enabled. And you can then go and see if that solves the problem. As you can see, it does for me. If it still doesn't view, then it's worth just making sure it's up to date. Right click on it and press update driver and you can do an automatic search. If anything goes and updates there, you can then see if the problem is solved. The next thing you can try doing to fix it is pressing search at the bottom, type in services and open it up. Now come and scroll down the list here and go and find the option for WLAN auto config. Double click on it. Make sure the startup type is set to automatic and that it's currently running. Press start if needed. Press apply and press OK. And then go and see if that solves a problem. If it does, then great. If it still doesn't, press the Windows start button at the bottom and open your settings. Come to the left and press network and internet and scroll down. Press advanced network settings. Then scroll down and find the option for network reset. What we can do is we can do this and it will remove and reinstall all the network adapters. This can often solve the problem. So you can press reset now to the right, then press yes. Your computer will go and restart and the process will begin. After that's ran, you can come back here and hopefully now it's going and appearing. 